Find the equation of the tangent line to y equals x to the fourth plus one and parallel to 32x minus y equals 15. Let's start by finding the derivative, y prime. y prime is 4x cubed. Recall that the first derivative tells you the slope of the tangent line at any given x. So we have a formula to find the slope once we know what our x value is. The next thing we need to recognize is the fact that we want to be parallel to a given line. So let's figure out what it means to be parallel to 32x minus y equals 15. If you're parallel to that line, you have the same slope. So let's find the slope of this line. Subtract 32x and then divide by negative 1 and we can see that the slope is 32. So we're going to be focusing on a line that has a slope of 32. What else do we know about slope? Well we said earlier that the derivative is all about slope of the tangent line. So let's force 32 to be equal to 4x cubed since y prime is the slope of the tangent line and we want the slope to be parallel to this other line that has a slope of 32. Divide by 4, 8 equals x cubed, cubed root of 8 is 2. So we know the x value of that coordinate now for the point of tangency. Next, we need to find the y-coordinate. Well, we have an equation for that. y equals x to the fourth plus 1. y equals 2 to the fourth plus 1. y is equal to 17. So the point of tangency is 2, 17. We're looking for the line that has a slope of 32 and it goes through the point of tangency which is 217. So we'll go to the point slope formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y minus 17 is equal to 32 times x minus 2. Distributing we get 32x minus 64 then adding 17, we get y equals 32x minus 47. So we have the equation of the tangent line to the original y and also parallel to the given line. Here's what that graph would look like in Desmos. The original graph in red, the line that we need to be parallel to in blue the first thing we did was we found the point of tangency, that point we found to be 217, and then we found the line that is tangent to the original curve in red, but also parallel to the blue line. That line again was y equals 32x minus 47.